and welcome back to my channel. Today we're looking at a practice video for writing ionic formulae. If you're unsure of how to write ionic formulae, I have a link in the description box below to another video detailing the steps on how to do it. But here is a quick rundown, rundown on how to write ionic formulae. So here we're trying to write ionic formulae for aluminium oxide. So our first step is to write out the formulae using valency rules if you're just given the name. So we would identify the symbols so A, L and O, put the valencies underneath, I'm going to do the crossover method. So we have 3 and 2, we then swap them over. If there is a common factor, we would simplify them down, but there's not. So we get A, L, 2, O, 3 as our formula. We then need to take each element in turn and add in the charges. So Al is a metal, so it becomes positively charged, and it has a valency of 3, so it becomes a 3 positive. And oxygen is a non-metal, so it becomes negatively charged, and it has a valency of 2, so it becomes 2 negative. We can see from the formula that we have multiples of each of these, so we need to put brackets around both of them, and then you put the subscripts on the outside of the brackets. Pause the video now and try these examples. Pause the video and write the ionic formula for each of the following. You'll have to write the chemical formula first.
you for watching my video. I hope that you found it helpful. Please remember to subscribe and follow me on Twitter at Miss Adams Chem and Instagram Miss Adams Chemistry for regular updates on new videos and flashcards throughout the year. Bye for now!